Hi there, so Bitcoin was under 9,800 yesterday and today we saw a climb all the way past 10,700. Well, it has been pretty dramatic over the past few months, so let's take a little look back. This time last year, Bitcoin was around 1,170 US dollars. On December 1st, Bitcoin was under 10,000 US dollars. It then skyrocketed all the way to 20,000 on December 17th before starting its path of decline. And we then saw it plummet all the way to 6,300 US dollars on February 6th. It then started to climb again and we saw it head all the way towards 12,000 US dollars on February 21st. Today, we saw it gain more than 11% over the past 24 hours, moving past 10,700 US dollars. So when do you think it will actually be able to get closer to the record high that we saw in December? Or do you think that this was just a once-off event? Let's check out what else is happening in the crypto world. Well, Craig Wright, who claims that he is the real Satoshi, has been accused of stealing Bitcoin. And this is quite an interesting case, so let's take a closer look. He has been accused of stealing between 550,000 and 1,100,000 Bitcoin. The brother of Wright's deceased former partner, Dave Kleiman, alleges that Craig was responsible for appropriating various intellectual property that was owned by WMK Info Defense Research. This is a company that they actually set up together. Now, according to the court notes, the brother claims that Craig told him about his partnership with Dave to create Bitcoin, mine Bitcoin and create valuable IP. But he claimed that Dave signed all these property rights away in exchange for non-controlling share of a non-operational Australian company worth millions. Craig told Dave's brother Ira that he'd be able to sell Dave's stake in the company in a few months. But the company went bankrupt after Craig apparently misled the Australian tax office. Moving over to the next story, Steve Wozniak admitted that he had seven bitcoins stolen because of fraud. At the Times Global Business Summit, he said, somebody bought them for me online through a credit card and they cancelled the credit card payment. It was that easy and it was from a stolen credit card number, so you can never get it back. And yesterday we spoke about the anticipated LightPay launch. Well, if you actually registered, you would have received this email. So let's take a look. And due to recent hostile actions by card issuers towards crypto companies, we have decided that offering LightPay card registrations at this time is imprudent. We continue to monitor the situation with regards to card services and will open registration as soon as a reliable product can be supported. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. See you later.